Tell me about yourself. How exactly do you answer this question in a job interview to make sure that the hiring manager is still listening to you by the end of this question? Also considering that this is usually one of the first questions in the job interview. So here you've really got to follow a methodical process and grab the attention so that everyone's ears is tuned in for the rest of the interview. So in this video, I'm going to take you through what not to do when answering this question and exactly how you should be answering this question. All right, now first up, I am going to be honest. It's not supposed to be rocket science, but there is an art to answering this question so that you ensure that you kind of command the attention, you are mentioning certain things that would resonate with the audience who you're speaking to, which in most cases is going to be either the hiring manager or someone technical that's in the room and someone that knows security, right? As a cybersecurity analyst, they want to know certain things about you personally, but then they also want to know the information that you are giving them aligns with kind of a match to the role, almost straight off the bat. All right, now to start this off, we're first going to start with what not to do. Do not do this. I've been in interviews where I have interviewed for a cybersecurity analyst role and there are just some things that is very vague to me and it basically demands me to probe the candidate for more information and then it just makes the experience a little bit more tedious for the interviewer, right? This is an example of how you should not be answering this question. Hey there. Tell me about yourself. Hi, I'm Venetia. I like computers and I think cybersecurity is really cool. I don't have much experience, but I'm willing to learn. I did some stuff in college, but it was nothing too serious. I don't really know much about your company, but I'm sure it's a good place to work and I really just need to get a job and get started in my cybersecurity career. And that is a little bit about me. So. Let's break this down and let's understand why this is incredibly ineffective as an answer in a beginner level cybersecurity analyst role. Firstly, you lack the specifics. So the specifics are completely missing, saying I like computers and I think cybersecurity is really cool. This is really too vague, like it doesn't provide any specific information about your skills or your experiences. Then you also have like highlighted very minimal experience when you're saying I don't have much experience, but I'm willing to learn. You're actually downplaying your experience, you know, but I'm willing to learn still doesn't install the confidence in your ability so that statement you've just kind of downgraded your experience and it really like I don't have confidence now that you have any experience whatsoever and then this candidate has also not been clear about their educational background right so saying I did some stuff in college but it was nothing too serious this dismisses any valuable education or project that you've completed so i don't know that you are confident in anything that you've said to me about your experience your project etc and then also like you're admitting to a lack of research by saying that i don't really know much about your company but i'm sure it's a good place to work it really shows a lack of preparation and interest and then if you think about your or cybersecurity goal saying I really just need to get a job and get started in my cybersecurity career. It makes it seem like you're looking for any job at any company really and there's nothing really specific about this job and this role and this company and why you're going to work for our company and kind of how you're going to add value so now i know a little bit about who you are but i know nothing in terms of your skills your experience like you've downplayed everything and then you've said pretty much like you just want to get a job so it's not that i'm special or my company's special or anything like that you just want to get a job right so that is the primus example of how i can explain to you what not to do in an interview when answering this question now let's move to the next section where i'm going to tell you exactly how to answer this question and what considerations to have when you are answering this question 
Hi, my name is Venisha. I recently graduated with a degree in computer science from the University of Johannesburg, where I developed a strong interest in cybersecurity. During my studies, I took several courses in network security, cryptography, and ethical hacking. I also earned my CompTIA Security Plus certification, which has given me a solid foundation in cybersecurity principles. I completed an internship at cyberqueen.org, where I assisted in monitoring network traffic and identifying potential threats. I also worked on a project where I conducted vulnerability assessment using tools like Nmap and Wireshark. These experiences have helped me develop a keen eye for detail and methodical approach to problem solving. I am a detail-oriented individual with strong problem-solving skills. I enjoy breaking down complex problems and finding effective solutions. I also have good communication skills, which help me explain technical issues to the team members and different stakeholders. I am really excited about the cybersecurity analyst role at abc.org because it aligns perfectly with my passion for protecting digital assets and my desire to really grow as a professional in this field. I am so eager to contribute to your team and to continue developing my skills in this dynamic and evolved environment. All right, now this was a mouthful. I really truly get it, but I'm gonna break it down in sections for you so that you can make this answer your own. There are some aspects and things that you wanna consider and this is why you've just grabbed my attention and why this answer works. Firstly, this candidate is specific. So the fact that they are clearly mentioning their degree, the relevant courses and certifications that they've completed, this provides a solid background for me. So now I've listened and I've heard about their educational background. I've heard some mentions on certification and now I'm all ears because these kind of match my job requirements that I have, the role requirements that I have. Then I think the second part was around highlighting the experience. So when the candidate discussed, I completed an internship at cyberqueen.org and they also mentioned that there are specific projects that shows practical experience. It mentions familiarity with specific tools. I also worked on a project where I conducted vulnerability assessment using tools like Nmap and Wireshark. So now I know that this candidate can work and they have hands-on experience on these tools. They shared a completely clear educational background. They mentioned specific courses like Security Plus. They mentioned their degree program. It highlights their educational advancements in the field. And then also from the research and interest aspect, I am really excited about the cybersecurity analyst role at abc.org. They really expressed excitement about the company that they want to work at. It was very specific to the role. They've shown genuine interest in this company. It shows me that they are so well prepared. The next thing is around the career goals. They've mentioned it aligns perfectly with my passion for protecting digital assets and my desire to really grow as a professional in this field, which means that they are taking this role with the intent to start, use their skills to add value and then build from there, which means that I'm going to benefit from this candidate joining my team because they are firstly, they're eager, they're interested, they have the education, the credentials, all of those things, but they're ambitious. They're ambitious. They know what they want. They've already started doing and working in what they want so this is really a perfect answer for me to now listen and continue right and this gives me great grounds as the hiring manager to then start pivoting my questions into spaces where i haven't received the answer in this whole tell me about yourself section and then the one thing that I also inserted into this candidate's response is kind of personality attributes, but that speaks to the soft skills required in a cybersecurity role. Sorry guys, one moment. I don't know why the lighting is like really dark, but let me switch it up. Oh, that's so much better. I should have done the video like this. Anyway, so the reality is that for this candidate, like I have now crafted kind of the perfect statement of their soft skills as part of their own skills, essentially. So like when I'm saying that they're good at problem solving and those types of things, those are core soft skills that's required for a cybersecurity analyst to have. 
And with adding the soft skills as part of your personality traits in Tell Me About Yourself, that also pushes me to know that personally, this candidate would be a good fit for the role. All right, friends, I hope this helps all of us get this question throughout our interviews that we have throughout our career. So if you are starting in a beginner role, I've made it specific to a cybersecurity analyst, but I mean, I think you can also use it similar and tweak it for a cybersecurity engineer, definitely for an architect. It's just about showing, you know, be very, very specific, highlight your skills, talk about things that resonates, especially with the company and the role and the hiring manager mention your soft skills as personality and character-based traits and have a clear goal that aligns with firstly the role that you're going to step into and that aligns with you growing in that company going forward and if you want access specifically to my resume template and the guide on how to build your brand this is part of my cybersecurity basis community. I will put all of the links down below. You can definitely check it out and learn some more and connect with me directly inside of the community. But that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you want to see me answer more cybersecurity analyst or cybersecurity interview type questions, put the questions down below that you're struggling with and I will see if I can come up with kind of effective and efficient responses for these questions. That's it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.